Hey guys, so in today's Mini Monday episode, I'm going to be sharing how to create this super pretty flake dip manicure using Love Dip Nails products. So let's get right into the video. All right, so since I am doing this manicure on my dominant hand, I do not want to use a peel base because I like these nails to stay on for a bit longer. So I'm going to start with the prep, and I just shared a little bit of how I prep in this video. But basically, the first thing that I always do is push back my cuticles using a metal cuticle pusher, and I go in a super gentle motion to make sure I don't cause any damage. And this is going to lift up any of that dead skin that could interfere with the dip application and adhesion. And after pushing the cuticles back, I like to take a small buffer and I gently buff the surface of my nails. And this is going to remove any of that dead skin and also prep the nail surface so that the dip powder can grip onto my nail. And I do this super gently to not take off any layers. I also went ahead and fixed the shape off camera and here they are after washing my hands. And now I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co pH prep liquid and this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the dip application. And this is especially important to get rid of any of that oil on the nail. Alright, and here is a look at the purchase I made from Love Dip Nails. I saw this brand actually come across my Instagram and I knew I wanted to review them on my channel because I love featuring smaller brands and these powders looked absolutely stunning. So I will get into the swatches of the colors I purchased. So this is Oops 4, a beautiful orange flake. Milky White, a solid milky white color. Bouquet, a beautiful milky white with some flowers. Think It Through, a blue circular glitter. Glisten, a multicolored flake. And Sea Glass, a teal with some gold flake. And here they all are swatched together. I think they're so unique and they all applied beautifully. And for this manicure, I'm going to be using Sea Glass, which was that beautiful blue with gold flake. This one totally reminds me of turquoise stone, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. So for this application, I'm going to use my Dip Ball Base Liquid, and I'm going to do my standard dip application routine, which is applying a thin layer of base to my entire nail, dipping into the powder and tapping off any excess. And since this is a flake, I do use a slightly different technique after dipping. So I will take my activator and press down any of those flakes just to make sure they are sealed onto the nail and lay flat. And then I'm just going to repeat that same process on all of my nails to get a nice even application for the first coat. And this powder applied really nicely. I had no issues with the actual formula of the powder, and using my activator I was able to make those flakes lay nice and flat, and overall get a super even and pretty look. So I had no issues there, and I was really impressed with the quality of this brand. I will be sure to leave all of the links below in my description in case you want to check any of these products out. And I totally recommend these shades to you guys, they are so great. And now that the first coat is complete, I went ahead and brushed off any excess powder on my nails off camera. And then I'm going to go in for a second coat to get more opacity. Now for this specific shade, I did not want the nails to be super opaque. The base color is meant to be a little bit sheer to let those flakes come through. So I didn't really want to take away from that. So I only ended up doing two coats and I think it looks really great. And another thing I do want to mention, this is a temperature changing color, so as you can see here it looks pretty blue on my nails and my hands were relatively cold. And then if your hands get warmer, they turn a beautiful light green color and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I actually did not realize that when I was doing my nails, but then I looked down and noticed that my nails change color after a shower and I realized that it was temperature changing, so I think that is really interesting and just another thing that makes this color are so stunning. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up this second coat and then I will be back for the next step.
All right, so now that all of the colored powder is on, I'm going to clear encapsulate using my Sparkling Co. Crystal Clear Powder. And this is an absolutely crucial step for this specific color. I want to use this clear layer to protect that color underneath, especially those flakes, because I do not want to take that shine and beautiful color off when filing. So this is going to seal in that flake and color and make sure it stays as beautiful as it is before filing, after filing. So I'm just applying a nice thin layer of base to my entire nail, dipping into the clear and then tapping off any excess. And now that all of the powder layers are complete, I'm going to activate using my dip wall activator. And I applied two generous layers of this to all of my nails. And I'm sorry for these clips being slightly blurry. But anyway, after I applied those two coats, I let it sit for a few minutes and went ahead and filed off camera to get a beautiful and even nail. And now I'm going to take my Nail Addict No Wipe Top Coat and seal in my dip powder manicure. And I actually did a whole review of Nail Addict in the previous video on my channel, which I will link in the cards. And I really enjoyed this top coat. I found it was super shiny and durable, and I thought it was just absolutely amazing. So that is what I'm going to be using here today to seal in my dip manicure. And in case you guys are interested in more about my filing routine and gel application over dip powder, I will link a video in the cards I did a little bit back, and that will give you more information and tips on those things. But anyway, I'm just going to apply a nice thin layer of this gel top coat to all of my nails, being sure to wrap the free edge, and then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Co. oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Love Dip Nails products. So I think this manicure came out stunning, and I really recommend you guys check out this small business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Mini Monday episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.